Hello, my name is Lee and welcome to today's video tutorial. Today, what I want to do is I want to update an old tutorial. So in the past, if you had seen my videos, you would know that I have created a tutorial that shows you how to create cloth inside Unreal Engine. Now that was when we had to use NVIDIA's um, Apex tools and that was a little bit complicated to use. It wasn't as straightforward as it is now. However, with um, updates to Unreal, um, it is now really easy to set up cloth. And so that's what we're gonna go through today. Now, unlike before, when we had to use Apex, the Apex plugin for Max, we don't have to use any plugins now. All we have to do is set up our scene like this. So here you see, I have two objects. I have my flag and I have my pull and they are separate. Then if I press the H key, which is gonna bring up the um, hierarchical view, you can see that I have the pole and attached to the pole is the flag. Now, the way that I attach the flag to the pole in order to get this hierarchy is I choose this option right here that says select and link and I click on the flag and I then drag, you can see that this line that shows what it wants to be linked to and I click and drag it to the pole. In terms of materials, if I press the M key, you can see that I simply have a multi sub object um, material, one for the flag and one for the pole. After we've done that, all we simply have to do is go to file, export. And if we, I, I already have saved this out, but I can overwrite this. So let's just overwrite this file and we can just leave everything as it is and press okay. Now what we do is we jump into Unreal and we're gonna create a new folder. I'm gonna call this flag. And in here, I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna choose import. Then I'm gonna to go to the folder that, which I've just created. And if I look for that folder, where is it? Right here, I can open up the flag. And it's important during the Im input process that we choose this option that says skeletal mesh. Okay, so if you're importing from Max, it may not recognize um, that this is a skeletal, skeletal mesh, but it is. So we have to check this option and press import. Once it's done that, we're gonna get our materials and our objects imported. So I'm just gonna quickly set up my materials here. So I'm gonna rename these. I'm gonna right click and choose rename and call this one flag underscore M for material. And the second one I'm simply just gonna rename to metals. We're just gonna use some generic metals material. So here, all I'm gonna do is I'm going to right click on the metallic and choose promote to variable, right click on the roughness, promote to variable. And I wanna set the metallic to perhaps around 0.8. And I wanna set the roughness to about maybe 0.4 and press save. And um, Unreal is just going to compile the material, it may take just a moment here. And you can see that I have this nice metal type um, material here on the top. And as for the flag, I'm gonna open up the material here and I'm going to press the A key and left click to choose add. And I want to add the RGB here to a Fresnel. And do something like this and like this. And again, I'm going to right click on the roughness and I'm going to set this to be about 0.8. So it's quite rough. And once we've done that, we can save it and Unreal will just go ahead and compile the shaders. Now, once that's done, we can then move into setting up our um, our cloth. So first of all, I'm gonna open up the, the physics asset. I'm gonna press, uh, you see it's already created a physics um, collision here for the pole. So I'm gonna press the space bar button and just scale this up. So it's about the size of the pole here. Don't have to be too exact. I make this slightly larger because what I want to do is I want to change the radius so it better matches the pole size. Okay, you can see that this is about right. Don't have to be too accurate. 
All right, then we can save this and then we're going to jump over to the skeletal mesh section. So in the skeletal mesh, uh, what we need to do now is go to the selection. Okay. So the skeleton selection and then, um, actually before we do that, let's apply our materials. So let's see. Yeah. Okay. And I've noticed here that this is not two sided. So let's jump back over to the material here and just fix this really quickly. Two sided. All right. And now we can jump back over to our flag. So you see that now it's on both sides. Okay, great. Now in order to make this work, here's what we have to do. So we right click on the flag. So make sure you're in the skeleton selection, right click on the flag and choose create uh, clothing data from selection. And it's, it's going to be the asset name. So flag clothing. And uh, we want to make sure that the physics, the physics asset that we've created is selected here. And we're going to choose create. Then after that, we open up the um, active cloth paint. And we want to select our flag clothing underscore zero. Then we can scroll down and we can change the, perhaps the radius of the brush here to something a little more manageable, perhaps around 50, uh, maybe a little smaller, 20 might be good. Yeah. And I'm going to change the, the, let's see the, the paint value here from 100, oh, sorry, the point value to paint value from 100 to 1000. Okay. So the lower this number, the less effects the wind is going to have. So I just want to paint this area like so, and I'm just going to move around and you see here on my, in my particular example, I have this section of the mesh here where I want it to hold the flag. Um, so I'm going to paint around that. I set this to about five. Let's reduce the size of this a little. There we go. Something like this. It's pretty good for me. All right. Then we can close this and we can right click and we want to choose this option that says apply clothing data and then choose the flag. And instantly you'll see the effects of what we've just created here. Now it's going to take a moment to compile the shaders again. So let's just wait for it. And in order to get a much higher quality flag, you can see that this is not exactly perfect in terms of um, resolution is you would just increase the resolution inside your modeling package. So here you can see on mine, it's about 20 by 20. But if you increase this to a much higher value, you're going to get a much smoother result. But for the purpose of this tutorial, this is pretty good. So, so now we can save this and then we can close these like so. We don't need these anymore. And basically what we have to do now is click and drag our skeletal mesh into the scene. And this is quite tall. I'm just going to bring this down a little so we can see at place eye level for the purposes of this tutorial. And um, if we press play, what you're going to notice is that the flag just falls down and that may not be what we want. We may want it to, you know, fly about. So the way we do that is we type in wind. Okay. So let's just type in wind. Here it is. And click and drag this in. And we want to move this to the location. Well, at least into the direction that you want the flag to blow. And if you press play, you can see that we have a slight little, like a little bit of movement, but not too much. So in order to change that, what we can do is play around with both the strength, for example, changing this to one. You see, we're going to get more strength here and we want to increase the speed, which will increase how much of, of a wave we have. So let's press play. And ha now you can see our flag is waving. So with that being said, that is essentially the basics of creating cloth inside Unreal Engine. If you like this tutorial, 
um, please let me know in the comments below. And if you want to see the older version of this tutorial, I'll also link that in the description below. As always, I will post the assets that's being used in this tutorial also below. So with that being said, I'd like to thank you for watching and until next time, bye bye. Thank <laughs> you.